2 Chronicles chapter 15. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded, and he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Hear you me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin, the Lord is with you, while you be with him, and if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now, for a long season, Israel has been without a true, or without the true God, and without a teaching priest, and without law. But when they in their trouble did turn to the Lord God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. And in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in. But great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the countries, and nation was destroyed of nation and city of city, for God did vex them with all adversity. Be you strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Oded the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of all the out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim, and renewed the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and these strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon, for they fell to him out of Israel in abundance when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. So they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month in the fifteenth year of the reign of Asa. And they offered to the Lord the same time of the spoil which they had brought, seven hundred oxen, seven hundred sheep, or seven thousand sheep. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul, that whatsoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And they were swore to the Lord with a loud voice, and with shouting, and with trumpets, and with cornets. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart, and sought him with their whole desire, and he was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. And also concerning Makachah, the mother of Asa, the king, he removed her from being queen, because she had made an idol in a grove, and Asa cut down her idol, and stamped it and burned it at the brook Kidron. But the high places were not taken away out of Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect in all his days, and he brought into the house of God the things that his father had dedicated, and that he himself had dedicated silver and gold and vessels. And there was no more war to the five and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa.